Howdy folks! It's good to see you Boomerites. Welcome back to the channel. I am King Boomer and we've got a good reaction for you today. This one comes from VTI off of the Muppet Army on Discord if you want to check that out. There's a link in the description below this video so you guys can join the ranks of the Muppet Army. But VTI has submitted a video and it's Little Britain. Can't wait to react to a Little Britain clip with the new setup. So this is Little Britain meets Elton John slash Comic Relief. Is Comic Relief a separate show? It says Little Britain. Sometimes I'm confused. There's like an original Little Britain. Then there's a Little Britain USA. And then is there a Comic Relief? I don't know. But you guys always tell me what's what. So you guys can tell me what the deal is with that. But uh, also... Quick update for all you Inbetweeners fans. I will try to get the Inbetweeners movie reaction done within the week, but I'm not making promises because as I found out uh, through experience over the past year on this channel that um, making promises with my work schedule and everything, it's it's kind of tough because I don't always fulfill the promises. So I'm, I'm just going to Say, I'm, I'm going to try to get the movie reaction done within the week. I'm actually going to try to get multiple movie reactions done within the week. So, I have that to look forward to. And so do you. So, anyway, let's get into this reaction submitted by VTI. Little Britain meets Elton John. You guys know I love the Little Britain stuff. So, let's get into it. Here we go, folks. Meanwhile, rural gay David Thomas has come to London's Ritzy Ritz Hotel to do an interview for his local paper. You never had this with Anna Jones. <sighs> come on. Are you going to be long? Look at this outfit. Oh. <laughs> Look at this outfit he's wearing. <laughs> he looks like a gay Power Ranger or something. Look at that. Baby Blue. Oh, yes, sir. Uh... David Thomas, the only gay in the village. Uh, please, uh, take a seat. What's this for, exactly? Oh, this is the big one. It's the Landui Breffi Gazette. <laughs> OK, so uh, uh, first things first, uh, let's get a little bit of background. Um, are you married? No. No, right. Any kids? No. no. I, I, I've often seen you around and about with this chap, David Furnish. Is he, is he one of your nephews? <laughs> No. Close friend. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, let's get on and talk about your work. Now, when it comes to writing a song, uh, Bernie Toppin, he writes the lyrics, and then you add the music. It, does it come quickly, or do you find yourself staying up at night bashing one out? <laughs> no, I've always come quickly, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I don't know if I don't know if this kind of thing is scripted or not, but if Elton John came up that with that by himself, that's really really good. When you're not writing and recording, you like to do live concerts, don't you? Yes. Yes. In fact, you've recently been playing in Las Vegas. Do you enjoy filling Celine Dion slot? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could say yes, but no. Now, you've started to write musicals. You've done Aida, you've done Lion King, and most recently, Billy Elliot. Um, <laughs> would you say you were somebody who had a theatrical bent? Uh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Very theatrical. Yeah. I've always thought yeah. you were. Now, some of the people in the village have suggested questions. Mm. Uh, old Mar Evans, who works in the post office on mm. a Tuesday, you know her. Yes. Uh, she says you're a very big football supporter and you was the chairman of Watford Football Club, weren't that, you? That's correct, yes. That's right. Yeah. And what she wants to know is, did you let the manager make the decisions or would you come down and pull someone off at half-time? <laughs> <laughs> All these gay references. Oh, man. <laughs> I, like the th I like how uh, Elton's, Elton's loving it, though. That's, a, that's awesome. It seems like it's kind of like he doesn't know what this um, really is. And he's just laughing along with, with it because he knows it's absurd. Which I always like stuff like that. If only. Uh, <laughs> no, I would. I would never interfere with a manager. 
I'll take your word for it. Mm. Uh, so, you like tennis, you like football. Are you into water sports? <laughs> Not really, no. 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 Afternoon tea, fairy cake, chocolate eclair. Oh, Senor Elton John, I am loving your music. I want love, but of a different kind. Huh? You know what he wants? He wants. Bitty. That's what he wants. I don't know if you could get some bitty off of Elton, though. Is a little bit funny, this feeling in time. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for bum? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Are you ready for bum? I'm going to start saying that to the queen. What do you guys think about that? Are you ready for some bum? Oh, God. This show is wacky. Uh, 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 horn? <laughs> <laughs> Senor John, you are so attractive and magnificent. They uh, sex so with me. Uh, a telephone. Uh, quattro, quattro, quattro. Oco. Oco. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, by the way, there's like, um, I was talking to Billy Reynolds about this earlier today. I don't know what it is, but like, at least in my neighborhood here in Florida, I mean, it just was New Year's, but I guess like everybody's lighting off the after fireworks, but I, oh, there it goes again. There's always fireworks going off in this state. What's the deal with fireworks in the UK? Do people light them off all the time? Doesn't matter what day it is. Like, hey, my dog didn't shit in the house today. Light a fuse. You know? Do they just light off fireworks for anything? Because I feel like these Muppets across the street light off fireworks for any damn reason. And it's scaring the hell out of my dog. I don't know, but thank you for listening to the rant. I just want to know if fireworks over there are uh, a big deal on any day of the year. So please clarify that for me. Anyway, let's continue. She was calm, wasn't she? Oh, dear. I didn't really notice. Uh, now, uh, you're very well known for your generosity. Do you enjoy splashing out on David? <laughs> Always. Yes. You do. Yes. yes. And you're always giving, aren't you? Give, give, give. But do you like to receive? <laughs> I prefer to give, actually. You prefer yeah. to give? Yes. Now, uh, I, I know you have given a lot of interviews today, but uh, I would just like to ask you one more thing. You've had a very successful career. It's so successful, in fact, that you've been knighted by the Queen. Have you met many queens? <laughs> Loads. Yes. More than I can ever have imagined. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're very successful, aren't you? Yeah. And, and I should imagine it would be very nerve-wracking meeting Her Majesty. What's it like kneeling before a Queen? Do you get a lump in your throat? <laughs> Yeah. Right. With a bit of luck, gets a lamp. <laughs> right. Well, that is all my questions. Thank you ever so much for Thank having you. me here today, Elton Jones. Uh, I'm going to go now uh, back to my home in oh. Nandui Blefi, which very is nice a lovely to meet you. village. In fact, you live in a nice village, don't you? I do, yeah. In Berkshire. Yes, that's yes, fine. I've heard it's very nice, very picturesque. It is, in fact, yeah. there's a lot of nice cottages. I might come down there and explore them. No, oh, I, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Because I'm the only gay in that village. <laughs> Good for you, Elton. <laughs> I've always thought Elton was like a, a, a cool dude. Um, who's up for a bit of banter and um, joking around. So that was cool to see. Yeah, I really like that. I, I still mind... My mind's blown by that outfit that that dude has on. The, the, the blue outfit. 
<laughs> it's very strange. But yeah, I like the beginning. You notice in the beginning, Elton was uh, cracking up a bit. But then he uh, slowly reverted to his professional form throughout the video. So good for you, Elton. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Little Britain is a wacky show, I must say. It is wacky. It is really out there. Very strange. Um, but everybody needs a bit of bitty. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, thank you, VTI2808, for submitting that. I salute you. All right. Anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer. Be on the lookout for a lot more reaction videos that are coming your way. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Stay safe.